Caitlin Aiken's daughter, and I'll teach you to cook like a Viking over an open fire. During the Viking Age, things were not written down, so no, we don't have exact recipes. We will create some mouth-watering dishes from ingredients that could be found during the Viking Age. Later, we'll meet in the meat hall with Viking guests. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Cook Like a Viking. I'm Caitlin Aiken's daughter, and today I have my friend Olaf Rorikson, who is thank, here. Thank you for having me, Caitlin. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, I always love you having you here. You have such good stories. Well, thank you, and you have such good food. Whoa, there you go. Today, Olaf is going to tell me about the, what he uses when he's on the battlefield as a warrior. Oh, yes. Uh, well, first I'll start with, with my helmet. Uh, it's full steel all the way around. Um, can you see through those? Oh, yeah. I can see perfectly fine. Um, takes some getting used to, but you just, you'd be what? surprised. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Is it heavy? Oh, it's not too bad. Um, Do you mind if I try yeah, it on? Go ahead. Ooh, it's big on me. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I might have to get you a smaller one. I guess so. <sighs> so, what other kind of weapons do you have? Well, I brought my say axe. Now, um, this is a, a, a knife. Um, every Viking, every free man would have one of these. If this is all you have left, though, you're having a really bad day on the battlefield. Ooh. Better than nothing. Better than nothing, that's true. Uh, I also brought here, I brought my uh, my trusty hand axe. Um, the good thing about hand axes is they're multi-purpose. You know, you can cut down your enemies, but also cut down your firewood. Sweet, so you Eat can it. cook Eat your it. dinner. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> and lastly, I have my sword. Wow. Now this tool, um, unlike all the other tools that we have here, uh, there's only one purpose for it, and that is to cut your enemies down. Wow. I see it has something in uh, runes, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the, the name of the blade, Skull. What does that mean? That is the, uh, the wolf that chases the moon. I want to talk about my helmet a little bit more. Um, very, very good at defending um, certain things. Now it'll keep it keep me from getting uh, getting knocked around. Though a heavy a heavy enough axe will chop that in. Will crush it. Uh, it mainly protects from cuts. So and anything going into my eyes. You want to keep your your face clean. So. Yeah, because I, I can see you getting hit me in the face with an eye, or in the eye, and then you're crying. And you can't yeah, do yeah, so it keeps things, keeps things out of my face, out of my eyes. Um, it keeps things from, uh, from small things from going through into my skull. Um, anything big, like a, like a, like a Dane Axe, um, it, it will crush right through this. Awesome. So the best defense on those is just avoiding them entirely. Good call. Like any Dane. Good call. Do you have any stories? I do have one, Caitlin. I want to tell you about my first battle. Yes. So there we were, side by side, me and my, my brother Sven, and we're, uh, we're in the wall, and I don't know what happened, but the wall breaks. And there we were, running across. We took out a Norman, 
And then I got separated from Sven. Oh, dude. I turned around and there I see a giant. The biggest man I've ever seen. He must have been 10, 11 feet tall. Wielding a Dane axe as big as myself. So there he is, and I'm facing him down, and he's just ready to swing down on me. And out of nowhere, this little weasel of a man comes up behind him, gets him right in the back. Oh, I was so relieved. I was so scared. So then I ran a little further, and, uh, and I have a couple more fights in and out. And then uh, I feel a nice stab in my ribs. And I turn around and there's Sven, my brother. And the look on his face. Oh, I still got the scar. He was, he was not, uh, not happy about that. Neither was I. No, oh, no kidding. Well, at least you made it back alive. We made it back, yes. Cause I know sometimes I send my guys off fishing and only a couple come back. Actually, it makes sense cause then I don't have to feed this many in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you, you need less fish to, to feed less people. So Absolutely. you're good to go. So thanks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. And uh, when do we eat? Coming up. Mmm, good stuff. Thanks for joining us today on, K on Cook Like a Viking. If you would like more information on the recipes and tools we use, check out our website at cooklikeaviking.com. Thanks for joining us today and see you next time on Cook Like a Viking.